Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the null objects and what are the null objects and how to use them and what are the uses of null objects. So let's get started. Uh, yes, okay guys, now we're in After Effects. So here I had created a four circles. I mean, these are compasses. Okay, and now if I want to scale down this circle, simply I'm going to press here and I'm going to decrease its scale. Sorry, I mean size. So if I want to scale down all the circles at a time, simply I'm going to select all the circles and press S and I'm going to decrease their size. But they are decreasing only their size but and they are getting farther so to simply move the circles or sorry I mean to simply scale down all the circles at a time there is another way so we can get it by the null object so to create it let's create a null object go to layer create new and click on null object yes and here you can see it is a red color square that means it's the null object yes and let's select the circle and I'm going to parent the circle to null object click on null 2 and select this one and repeat the same process to all the circles yes and now if I move this null object yes and now I'm able to control all the circles at a time see and now all the circles are moving uniformly yes and if I want to scale my all the circles simply I'm going to press this null object and press S on my keyboard and I'm going to scale all the circles at a time see here all are decreasing their size at a time and they're not going farther yes and also we can animate these circles with this null object uh, simply rotate this null objects yeah enough let's play this S let's see all the null objects are moving in a correct position all the circles are in a good condition yes with this null object we can control all the not only the circles you have any footages or pictures or even any signs you can control with this null object also let's have another I have another thing so let's control we can also track the footage with the null object so let's get into that okay guys now we're in the here you can see a footage and now we can use the null object to track the footage so to simply do that click on window click tracker click on track motion and check the rotation <coughs> yes it's enough also keep it this one here yeah enough yes and then click on analyze forward let's wait until the track completes Yes, and here the tracking is completed. <coughs> and now create a new null object, and we have to export this tracking data to this null object. Simply click on Edit Target, go to Null One, hit OK, and click on Apply, and select X and Y, hit OK. Then you're done. Close the tracker. Yes, and close this null. Yes, and import a 
here you can see the null this null isn't moving here and there it's constant yes and import our uh, I had a fire stock footage so you can download it from web I'm going to remove this green screen yes it's gone simply I'm going to decrease the size of the fire and I'm going to rotate it to sorry yes and enough <coughs> move it over here yes and now simply what I'm going to do here is I'm going to parent this big fire to this null object so let's take a preview <coughs> oh it's constant it's not moving yes the fire is not moving and it's in a fixed position yeah yes here you can see the tracking is perfect <coughs> like this we can use a null object to export the tracking data yes and I have also another idea of using null object so let's get into the another, another idea uh, okay guys now this is my another one of using the null object with the lens flare so simply create a new solid and let me test the lens flare hit ok and go to effect I'm going to apply a lens flare yes and choose a good lens sorry good flare hit ok <coughs> yes and make this transparent yeah and here I can move my lens to here and there by simply pressing on this red color circle so if I press here I'm I'm not able to move the circle if I move it the entire composition is going to be moved so if I want to move this circle simply I'm going to press this optical flares and I can drag it but if you don't want to drag uh, this with the using of optical flares we can use a null object yes simply right click here create new and create a null object and go to lens flare hit and wait click here and press P on your keyboard go to lens flare and alt plus left click on position X and Y and parent this position X and Y to this position of the null <coughs> click here bam then you're done simply now I can move this lens flare with this null object you can see here I'm not pressing this lens flare I'm just clicking on null object I can move it from here and there yes if I press here even though I can move it yes why because I had parented this lens flare position X and Y to the position of the null object so and also we can do some tricky things like decreasing the brightness okay go to lens flare if I make this here, uh, keep it here enough with the lens flare and, and create an, another new null object. Oh, and oh, oh, and rename this as the controller, yes, and select the lens flare. Oh, go to controller and go to FX and presets and then there type slider control and make sure that you selected the controller and double click on slider controller. Yes, and I'm going to rename it as the brightness. Yes. And now what I'm going to do here is simply I'm going to press this uh, brightness slider and also this uh, alt plus alt plus left click on this brightness yes 
and drag this pick whip icon to the brightness of the slider. Yes, bam, then you're done. Okay, close all these controllers. Yes. And if I go to starting of my composition and if I press the keyframe here, oh, not this one. Let's go to controller and if I click on the stopwatch and here you can see a keyframe. Uh, oh, wait a second, I'm going to trim my composition to maybe 10 seconds enough yes go to the 12th second and increase the brightness to 100 yes I'll make it 100 and go to 14 second and decrease it to 0 go to 16 make it 100 go to 18 make it 0 go to 20 make it 100 enough and now let's hit play here you can see the brightness of the lens flare is increasing and decreasing I had simply control the brightness of the lens with this controller of the null object yes it's increasing and decreasing here you can see if I move my time indicator you can see the changes in these values if I move this, is it came to 60. If I move this, it came to 93. And here and now, if it the light is decreasing, and also the value is decreasing. Yes. So we can also do some tricky things with this null object, and mainly null object is very important. Yes, the null object is a perfect thing to do, and it is easy to do things in a good manner. Okay, and this is about the tutorial of the null object. Okay guys, anyway, my name is Bharat Kumar. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from this. If you guys like this video, simply hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to be get updated whenever we upload new tutorials. Anyway, thanks for watching.